bones were found by workmen digging a drainage ditch during construction at the airport. Scientists say the 30-foot pliosaur probably weighed around 6,000 pounds, eight fish 14 feet long, and lived in the water. Bob Slaughter, who supervised the two-year reconstruction project, says the pliosaur was almost lost to Corpus Christi. When we collected the animals about the time that needed some support for some graduate students. And so uh, we just asked around who would be willing to under underwrite some graduate students for a couple of years to put it together and then uh, they could display it. And uh, Carpus Christi was the one that came along quickly and said they wanted to do it. But then the people in Dallas uh, raised a ruckus that they'd like to have it here. So Carpus Christi uh, uh, accepted another animal and let us stay here. And so then Braniff uh, came up with the money to uh, underwrite the students and so uh, that's it. The pliosaur will be on permanent loan to Braniff and displayed at the terminal at DFW. Slaughter says this is only the third specimen of the polytachodon family ever found. He says it will help pinpoint the prehistoric shoreline of a sea that cut the United States into two parts 70 million years ago.